Hello, I'm Fear. We are back again now with a challenge. With the release of Monster Hunter Sunbury, a new monster has been included in the mind of Monster Hunter. Experience. So, in commemoration, I'm beating a Monster Hunter Frontier Quest. Here are all the rules. I have to beat all the Hunter Quest, Exotic, Burst, Conquest, Sitten and Zenith Quest. I have to kill all the monsters at least once. That includes Wii Fatalis and Darmadia. I can use Magnet Spike, I can use Chick Shop uh, to be gathering materials, parts of monsters for Fruit Beaten, Checkers, uh, Coops and Decorations. I can use Legendary Rasta nor Premium Cards. I can use Gacha Coins to increase SR rank to max. That is said, Let's create a character and choose a weapon. I'm going to play with the Dwight Blades because they are God in status and elemental damage. And in late game, I'm going to be able to use this a lot. I start with the one star quest. Instead of starting from the top, I'm starting from the bottom. The first quest is to hunt some felines. This quest is an arena quest that is a real fun. Felines and melings die with one hit, and in the arena are two of them, with cannons and damage, the slippery cards. After I steal all my items and listen to the bang arena song, I easily beat this quest. Then we face the Sakalaka. I wasn't prepared for this. I could have upgraded my armor, but I went blind into the quest. And let me tell you, I wasn't prepared to attack against those Sakalakas. They did so much damage and had a really unpredictable name. It cost me a few deaths, but I managed to craft a strategy to beat them with attacking much damage. However, when I thought I had already finished the quest, a bunch of Sakalaka were waiting me inside the cave. What? No. But I managed to defeat some of them. And with that, we finished the awful quest. After that, I decided it was time to get an upgrade. I grabbed some nice blades and with a rookie hunter armor which increases my weapons attack and gives me the ability to detect large monsters. Next, I run with a killing spree, killing every small monster. I upgrade, gameplay, hermit out, bomba, wolfango, velocity prey, hornet out and despoid, all defeated by the icy blade. I change my clothes and go to collect some intel about the thumbs by delivering some maps. After that, I have to deliver some items. The first one are two eggs. I go to a velocity prey nest to gather them, and I easily get them to the camp. Next, I have to go fishing. I get some bait and go down the well and reach a fishing spot. I fish and don't realize I was in the wrong spot. So I go get more bait and finally fish the fish animal. Then I hunt some insects and chase the main one by using my own. Now, after all three strain, I'm ready to take the most fish large monster. Well, many monster. Congela. This spring cape loves mushrooms. Especially venomous ones, they make him fart a lot. However, it's no mask for the ice blades, and for getting farted in the face, I take him down easily. I decide to make his armor set, and it gives me uh, more defense when maintaining the tracking skill and I decorate it with a Taijutsu Hemo. Then I fight with the prey with a no chance against me and get easily defeated. So I go and slam Bulldrum too. Gendron gets stuck on one of my cats, Kiyo's trap, and is quickly defeated. Cephadrum is my next opponent. I hate this monster, so I decide to stun him by kicking his legs until he falls into the ground and dies. He doesn't even manage to position the one. Crab is my next opponent, Daniel Armita. It's mad because I killed so many of his children. I easily defeat him and he beats me. Mushroom. Now, the key quest start. I'm tasked with surviving a Nocotris. This orange bird put a, puts a good fight. It managed to hit me a lot with his tail swing. I continue moving and swinging my blades at him, avoiding all his sleeping gas, and I finally take him down. 
with this I can make his armor set. I don't like how it looks, so I think she will use some dress mod. Now I can capture another one and create a minus weapon. These long dual blades can use thunder and paralysis, and they are very powerful. But we can't upgrade them right now. Then we face the original trying monster, Jan Kutku, but it stands no chance. Or place paralyze him more than once, and it even gets some stealth files. When I keep it in this phase, it doesn't last much longer, and it is finally there. So now we are facing the last one star quest monster, the massive crab, Taikun Thamud. This crab is covered in the mud and it has two different claws. One is like a hammer and the other one is like a blade. I start breaking the mud by doing so, spreads the mud in the air and blinds me so I, can see, I can't see what it is. I manage to break more mud and he finally even rages, breaking the ground beneath him and we fall into a deeper level of the cave. However, it couldn't hold any more longer. It was already so weak and it only took me some swings to finally end his life. So, I have finally done it. I have beaten a monster hunter from the other one star quest. Eh, what are you telling me? This is an urgent quest? A new monster is making a rampage in the forest? Do not worry, I will take care of him. And that will be all for this video, first video. If you like it, remember to leave a like and subscribe so you don't lose in the next video, where I take care of all the two star quests. I see you then on the next video.